Introduction to MRI. Ito, i-discuss sa inyo yung mga natunan ko about magnetic resonance imaging. Okay? So, let's start. So, kung mapansin nyo guys sa definition guys ng MRI, so this is an imaging modality na gumagamit po ng magnetic field and radio frequency or radio waves. Okay? Para makabuo po ng 3D digital images of anatomical structure. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, guys, uh, during uh, MRI examination, okay, yung patient po ay na-expose sa strong magnetic field. Okay? So, nangagaling po sa primary magnet na nasa country. Okay? Ito po ay tinatawag natin external magnetic field. Okay? So, this is the reason why it's called magnetic. Kasi uh, sa procedure, guys, ng MRI, okay, gumagamit po tayo ng principles of magnetism or electromagnetism. Okay? So, now, yung concept ng one po ng resonance, nangyayari naman po ito kapag po ang radio waves po ay na-absorb ni uh, patient. Okay? So, actually po, sa physical principles, hindi po basta-basta na-absorb ng uh, pasyente yung radio waves na sinusupply sa kanya. Okay? So, actually, there is specific frequency okay, to, na kailangan okay, para ma-absorb ni patient yung sinusupply nating uh, RF pulse. Okay, and then usually guys, uh, nakadepende po ito sa uh, strength ng magnetic field. Okay, so pagdating natin guys sa physical principles, matutunan nyo yung concept. Okay, so yun. So tandaan, uh, resonance po is the absorption of RF pulse okay, by the tissues. Okay. So yun po. And then, uh, so during the MRI examination, so remember the source of the signal is the patient. Okay. So, yung signal na yun, guys, ito po yung uh, ginagamit to reconstruct the 3D uh, images. Of course, ang uh, nagpaprocess niyan is the uh, computer. Okay? So, kung makapansin nyo, guys, so, ang MRI po, madalas na pagkukumpara kay CT scan. Okay? Kasi almost same yung itsura ng uh, gantry okay? nila. Okay? Pero remember po, iba po ang nasa loob ng CT scan at saka loob ng MRI. So, kung makapansin nyo po, we have a magnet. So, ito yung primary magnet. So, the source of external magnetic field. Okay, pwede po yung maging primary magnet. Ay, pwede po siyang permanent magnet, uh, resistive magnet, or superconductive magnet. Okay, so, alam naman po natin na most commonly used today is the superconductive because it provides strong uh, external magnetic field. Okay, then the two. So, yan. Paano nyo malalaman ng superconductive? Okay. Oh, Check nyo na lang po kung tunnel type po yung machine. Okay? Usually kapag tunnel type po at saka masyadong mat malakas ang magnetic field. Okay? And then may cryogen. So expect nyo the machine is a superconductive okay? magnet. Okay? So then mga pansin nyo guys, meron din po tayong tinatawag na gradient coil. So usually guys, ang gradient coil sa MRI tatlo. Okay? So meron tayong X, Y, and Z. So ito guys yung dahilan kung bakit ah, maingay po yung MRI. Okay, during the MRI examination. So, sa ginagamit po ang gradient codes to localize the MRI signal during the uh, during the measurement. Okay? So, kaya siya merong X, Y, and Z. So, kung nalolocalize mo ang signal, of course, kaya mo bumuo ng uh, slices in different uh, uh, locations. So, kaya guys, example, uh, example, uh, we have X gradient tool. So, ginagamit siya to produce a sagittal slice. Okay? Sagittal slice. Kapag, ano naman po, uh, sorry guys, medyo nag-error yung aking mouse. Kapag naman po, uh, gumamit tayo ng uh, Y gradient tool, so, ang kaya naman na produce natin slice ay coronal. Okay? And then, the C gradient tool, uh, ginagamit siya to produce a uh, uh, transverse uh, slice. And then any combination ng X, Y, and Z, so can produce uh, oblique slices. Okay? So, ayun po yung purpose ng gradient call, to localize the MRI signal or to produce slices. Okay? So, next is the uh, RF call. So, ito guys yung source ng radio frequency. Okay? Source na yung nagsusupply. Okay? Dalawa kasi yan, may uh, transmitter at receiver. So, uh, may mga coil naman po na ano lang, uh, transmitter lang. May mga coil din naman po, uh, receiver lang. Meron naman pong coil din na uh, both transmitter and receiver. Okay? So, tandaan guys, ang radio frequency, remember, uh, 
part siya ng electromagnetic spectrum na nagka-cause uh, nag ng ionization. So, kaya guys, okay, magkataka kapag ang pasyente after the MRI examination, sobrang init ng katawan. Kasi uh, sa sobrang tagal ng procedure ng MRI, ibig sabihin nun, sobrang daming radio frequency din po ang sinusupply sa kanya. Okay? So, ang tendency nun, guys, kapag na-absorb ng patient yung radio frequency, magkakas ng excitation sa body, so magiging final product is the tissue heating. Okay? So, remember, guys, the result of interaction ng RF pulse sa tissue is tissue heating. Okay? So, ayun po kung bakit siya, bakit mainit ang pasyente after the MRI examination. Okay? So, inukumpit din po natin yung heat na uh, na-receive ng pasyente. Okay? So, pagdating natin guys sa principles, physical principles, ma malalaman niya. Okay? Kung paano natin pinukumpute. Okay? So, ano yung term natin for that? And then, so, kung mapansin nyo, uh, okay, yung bore. So, bore guys, Remember kaya common ang common sa MRI is the claustrophobia. Okay, so sa uh, iba-iba ang bore ng MRI machine, so kung mas malaki, okay? Syempre mas less claustrophobic kaysa sa uh, mas maliit, no? So uh, tandaan guys na yung magnetic field na lumalabas, okay, or located outside the bore, okay? So hindi ito guys uh, Ito guys yung tinatawag na ano na uh, fringe magnetic field. Okay? So any magnetic field na nasa labas po ng machine ay considered a uh, fringe magnetic field. So pwede natin siya guys makumpara uh, sa scattered radiation. Okay? Kasi guys remember, tandaan na, yung magnetic field na nasa loob okay, ng bore, ito po yung external magnetic field. Okay? So kaya siya guys external Okay, nasa labas ng pasyente. Okay, pero huwag kayo magkataka kung bakit uh, external siya pero nasa loob ng machine. Okay? Kasi guys, uh, pinag-uusapan kasi yan guys, ang pasyente po kasi meron siyang tinatawag na internal magnetic field. Okay? So, pagdating sa physical principles, malalaman niyo po ano yung internal magnetic field na tinutukoy ko. Okay? Na nanggagaling sa hydrogen proton. Okay? So again, yung pasyente may internal magnetic field. So, na-expose siya sa external magnetic field na galing kay primary magnet. Okay? And then, uh, meron po tayong magnetic field na nasa labas na ano, nag-extend outside ng gantry. Okay? So, ito guys yung mga nag-attract ng metal. Okay? Ng suit ng pasyente, uh, suit ng intern, suit ng rad tech, or suit ng lahat na pumapasok po sa uh, MRI room. Okay? So, siya yung nag-attract ng metal. So, ayun po yung hazard sa MRI fringe Okay, siya yung tinatawag na fringe magnetic field. Okay. Fringe magnetic field. So, again. Again, uh, siya po ay uh, may kumpara natin sa scattered radiation. Okay, now, so, may kulang siya na coil actually sa picture. Uh, walang nakalagay na shim coil. So, tandaan nyo guys, uh, Bago mag-gradient coil, okay? so una kasi magnet, okay? then pangatlo gradient coil, pang-apat is the radio frequency coil. Okay? Uh, may pangalawa pa tayong coil, so meron tayong tinatawag na shim coil. Okay? So kung bakit siya, uh, bakit siya malapit sa magnet? Kasi guys, ang, prime, ang external magnetic field po natin ay hindi po uniform. So ito guys yung tinatawag natin in homo. Genus, in homo. Okay. Ah, sorry guys, hindi na akong gusulat kasi nagluloko yung mouse ko. Okay? So ito guys, yung titawag natin uh, in homogeneity. Okay? Yung in homogeneity, uh, ang ibig sabihin po nun, hindi po uniform yung ating external magnetic field. So nangyayari kasi yan guys, kasi hindi nga, based on the book, hindi nila ma-perfect yung pag-construct ng coil. Okay? Ng magnet coil. So sabi sa book, ah, uh, Kung gusto mo maging uniform yung uh, external magnetic field mo, dapat ang distances between the coils are the same. Okay? Kaso hindi nga nila ma-perfect yung distances na yun. Okay? So, ano yung nangyayari? Nagkakaroon tayo ng magnetic field in homogeneity. Okay? Or non-uniformity ng external magnetic field. Okay? Ngayon, kaya tayo gumagamit guys ng shim coil. So, ang shim coil po, ang purpose niyan is to improve the homogeneity of the external magnetic field. 
Okay? So again, the primary magnet is the source of the external magnetic field. Okay? The shim coil is used to improve the magnetic field homogeneity. Okay? And then the gradient coil is used to localize the MRI signal or to produce slices. So X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And then the RF coil is the source of the radio frequency. Right? Pwede siya maging transmitter or receiver or both. Okay? So, so that's MRI. Okay. So